This is a Sea Ray 320 Sundancer. The overall length of the boat is 35 foot 6 inches with the extended swim platform. The uh, beam of the boat is 11 foot 6 inches. The entry door is on the port side and as you walk through the port side there is a wash down with hot and cold water. When you enter the boat you will have a U-shaped seating on your right hand side. As you go forward the uh, cockpit and refrigerator is located right there. The compartment right next to it has a um, waste basket in it. It's full of ropes and lines right now. Uh, here you have a wet bar. You can step out to the side of the boat onto a dock with a built-in step. Uh, the uh, canvas on the boat is um, in fair shape. Uh, the back isinglass has screens behind it so you can zip them out and if you're in a warm water area where there's a lot of bugs, you can keep the bugs out. There's companion seating on the left hand side as you go forward in the boat. When you go to the right here, you'll see a double wide captain's area on the driver and a passenger right next to them, along with all your graphs. It's got Mark Pressel View. Uh, this graph is for your chart plotter and your radar. The boat does have radar with it. Um, you've got your shift controls here on the left hand side, uh, your throttle here on the right. Um, this is your uh, believe this is an autopilot. Yep, an autopilot here. That's really a nice thing to have. Um, all your gauges are right there where they're easy to see. Uh, compass heading right here. The uh, windshield has a vent on it, electric vent, so if you're out on hot days, the driver usually is the person that gets warm because everybody in the aft area has, is, is more open, but that uh, cools off the uh, driver very well. We've got uh, windshield wipers on the outside of the boat. Now as we move down below, it's uh, five steps down into the cabin. Immediately to the left when you get into the cabin is your head. It's got a uh, vacuum flush head and a sink with a shower head that goes up. The whole bathroom works as your shower. You've got storage down below here. You've got a light switch that's waterproof with a uh, fan switch there also. Uh, we come back out. Uh, plenty of storage in the bathroom too. You see these four doors here. Um, that's that's a big plus. A lot of boats don't have that, and you do have a vent window inside the, the head. Coming out on the port side, you have your uh, microwave, another vent window, some storage for your kitchen kitchen utensils. Uh, storage down below. Um, this is your refrigerator. Underneath the sink will be storage and access to your little waste basket and access to anything under the sink. Then you got drawers on the left hand side of the sink and put all of your things in. Uh, these do have covers so you can get some pretty good um, covered space here. Right here is the stove top. This also has a nice cover on it so you can get your covered space for your serving hors d'oeuvres. Um, floor access you can see in the carpet. Carpet's in very good shape. But you'll see floor access there with that gets you down to the internal parts of the boat if you ever have to do anything working on it. You have a very long couch here in the salon. This couch does pull up to make an extra bed. Uh, it still is, it's a long bed, but it is a one person bed. In the aft cabin here, you can use that for seating while you're just being social, or you can put that down into a bed. In the aft part of the main salon, you have a big flat screen TV. Um, that's a big add-on that they put in the boat. I don't believe in this year they had uh, flat screens. They were more of a uh, normal tube TV. Um, going forward into the V-berth, you've got a nice spacious V-berth, easy in and out. Steps up on both sides, so it's easy for to get in and out of bed, no matter what side you're on. You've got nice closets here, uh, and those are usually very deep. They've got a hanger on them. Uh, inside here you have a TV that pulls out. Now this is the older tube type TV. It does have a VC, uh, VCR on the bottom of it, or I guess that's a CD player. And then um, you can plug different things. It's a Kenwood head system here for your stereo. One last quick look around the boat. We've got uh, blue lights on the arch. And we have some flooring light that make it very easy to get in and out of the boat in the dark coming home from a restaurant. Lights it up well if you're just entertaining in the boat.